In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the grit stitch. I'm going to use Stylecraft Classic Cotton, and for this particular yarn, it calls for a four millimeter hook. You can just check your yarn label of whichever yarn you choose to use to get the corresponding crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. But before we get started, if you like my tutorials, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and also check out my other videos already on my channel. So to begin you want to create a slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and for this particular pattern you are going to want to start with a multiple of two for your initial chain. So you can chain to the length or width you want your project to be. So you're going to yarn over and pull through for one, yarn over, pull through, that's two, and then you will just keep repeating that until you get to your desired length. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to go ahead and chain a few for this sample piece and then meet you back once you are ready. So I have just chained a fairly small length of 16 in order to do this sample piece for you. And what you want to do is after you've done your multiples of two and you've got your desired width or length, you're going to go ahead and chain one. And this chain one is for turning. So what we're going to do now is work our way back along this chain and we're going to do a double crochet. So double crochet is a UK term. In the US, this is known as single crochet. So we're going to skip this very first chain and then work into the second chain from the hook with a double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next chain and then work into the next one. And into here, we're going to do two double crochets. So remember that single crochet in the US. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. And then we're going to do another stitch into that very same chain space. So insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. And this is literally what we're going to do all the way along this chain. So we're going to skip one chain and then move into the next. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Skip a stitch and then do exactly the same. So one double crochet, and two double crochet. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way along this chain, and then meet me back once you get to the very end. What you should find is that you actually finish uh, your last two double crochets in the second to last stitch. When you get to that point, meet me back and I'll show you how to finish off. Okay, so I've just worked my way all along that chain and as I said, there should be one chain left in that foundation chain and you want to do a double crochet into that very last stitch. So essentially what we have is a double crochet right in the end, that is our turning chain and then a double crochet on its own at the other end. And this really helps with the sides of our work. We're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And then if you just look at this stitch here, we're going to work into this very first stitch. So the base of this chain one, first of all, and we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to skip the next stitch and then work two double crochets into the stitch after that. So you're going to go into the top of that stitch, but this time you will look like you have two loops on your hook. It's just making sure that you get in the front and the back loop of that stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then do another double crochet into that very same space. You're going to skip a stitch and then move over 
and then do exactly the same thing. So two double crochets into that very same space. So go ahead and pause the video and continue that all the way to the very end. Again, you should be left with one stitch at the end. So pause the video and meet me back once you are ready. So I've now worked my way all the way to the end and this is what this end is looking like. So we've worked our two double crochets into this last stitch and then you almost have like a loop on the end, like a semicircle. And this is where we're going to work our last double crochet into. So it's just this stitch just here. You want to go ahead, insert your hook. Again, you will look like you have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through, and then that one double crochet creates your end. So we're actually going to repeat the pattern from here on out. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to do your first double crochet into the base of that chain one space, like so. We're going to skip one and then do a two double crochets into that next stitch. Skip one and two double crochets. And skip one and two double crochets. If you want to go ahead and pause the video, work your way to the end, I'm just going to show you one last time what to do once you reach the end and how to move on to your next row. I have again come to the end of this row and I'm left with this stitch in the end. What you want to do is find the top of that stitch, insert your hook so you have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through and do one double crochet and then chain one turn your work and you are ready to go again. So let me just show you this sample piece here so that you can see what the stitches start to look like as they build. You can see that they just give a really pretty variation on the standard double crochet or single crochet as it's known in the US. And this is really good for scarves, blankets, or even sort of a little washcloth like I have made here. So there is the tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.